Okay, either one of two things are going to happen here. Either we get a successful shot and we get to shoot at the mountain, or our entire cannon blows up. So let's see if our redstone was correct. Alright, didn't blow up the cannon and cause a bit of damage. So sweet, we're all good. We actually got the successful first time. Uh, sometimes our redstone game can be a bit off. Uh, our timing, sorry, not our redstone game, just our timing with the repeaters can be a bit off. Um, and we don't have these on just one tick, we've actually got them on two. So we're just making sure that we're not going to blow up our cannon because that does happen for those who do know what cannoning is like. Uh, sometimes you make a mistake. Uh, and blow it up. I've actually um, played a couple of servers with some with a couple of guys, and we. Ooh, okay, so I got to make that blow up a bit earlier. I played a couple of servers with a couple of guys, and um, we built this cannon. It took us oh man, I couldn't even tell you a couple of hours. No, whatever. It was a massive cannon, and uh, and we got everything ready. We're about to shoot, and they forgot to put water in at the very end, and uh, yeah, that that was it game over we just we didn't even decide to raid we quit we're like nah we're done uh we just left left the the cannon the millions of or hundred thousand dollars worth of tnt in the cannon and all over the floor all right so we took out the timing there we go we just wanted to blow up a bit earlier because it is so powerful the tnt's actually make it to the mountain fairly quickly we just have to make some adjustments on timing but guys i thought i'd make a quick video on this cannon and ask you guys if you would like to see some cannon build tutorials um, I like making scatter cannons. Scatter. I like making cannons that make a mess. Uh, but cannons are mostly designed for raiding other people's bases, online servers, factions, all that other good stuff. Um, and that's where it originally come from. But I also use them in my creative survival world and just experiment and play. But if you guys would like to see some videos on tutorials, how to build, um, how they work, all that other good stuff, then comment down below. Give me some suggestions. Join Discord and let me know, guys, because I'll be more than happy to make you guys some awesome cannons. Uh, sand stacking cannons as well, hybrids, scatters, all of that good stuff. Um, I do build it off by hand and I'm playing on console so there is no schematic card, there's no blueprint, none of that. I build it all off memory. Um, so guys, let me know because I'll be more than happy to do that and if you guys are interested then I'll just, yeah, get ahead, go ahead and start making some uh, cannon worlds. I'll make an, I'll make an entire world just for cannons. Uh, this world's mostly for builds as you guys can see in the background. So what I'm just going to do is spend a couple of minutes here just destroying this mountain uh, and adjusting the timing and uh, just try to divert your attention from other YouTubers and just keep it onto me, alright? Alright, it's working. So what do I have to do? Do I have to make it blow a bit earlier? If I just change the timing on this side, make that blow a bit earlier. Because there's two, there's two scatter parts here, one on this side, one on this side. They're both set at different times. So what well, that means is these two dispensers will shoot, like will obviously get launched and they'll blow up at one timing, but then these two will shoot out. And they're, they're always, they get launched at the same time, but they just explode at different times, for those who don't know how that works. Uh, but guys, like I said, if you're interested in that, if you would like to see some more, whoops, some more canon videos, let me know, because Stumps has got your back, man. Alright, so we're just going to quickly shoot a couple more times, like I've said. Just messing around with some cannons before we go for lunch, um, because we have been making a habit of skipping lunch just to make videos. The dedication is real, the temptation, the motivation, it's it's all there. Guys, so we just uploaded, we just finished making this tower behind us, this windmill thing, so if you like that, check that out. I will put the video of that ba that design in the description of this one, so if you guys want to see that, you are more than welcome to go visit, visit that video, check it out, comment what you think below, and listen to me blabber on in that video as well. I tend to generally talk too much, and that's that might be why I'm losing my subs. Um, lost like ten yesterday, lost ten the other day as well. Um, like I'm, it's up and down. It's it's really hard to understand. I don't know. I'm still new to this, guys. Like I've said, but um, I'm not going to stop. My shorts, my videos, they're going to be persistent. They're going to be consistent. Like I'm just not going to stop. I have to keep going. I've wanted this for so long, and it's like a whole new life for me. It's just a whole new life-changing experience getting up, making videos, editing, hearing your comments, being a part of something bigger than myself. It's a gift, guys, and with, I couldn't do it without you. So like I said in my previous videos, like I'll say again in this video, you guys are a blessing. I appreciate all of you. Much love to every single one of you. Damn, like seriously. It's not possible without you guys. You're just, you're amazing. So thank you guys 
for allowing me to be out here, for allowing me to do this, for being a part of the support system. And, um, this is actually working really well. Wow. I mean, it's a bit too powerful for this, not going to lie. Um, the amount of dispensers I have in there would be probably to shoot across quite a few chunks to hit other people's bases. But I just wanted to quickly test it out and see how long it takes us to quickly get through the mountain. I'm not going to spend all day here with you shooting consistently. I'm just going to uh, shoot a couple of times and see how much damage we can make. So what we might do now is uh, put the delay up a little bit more. Just on this side. What have we got on here? Whoops. One, two, three. So just one tick there for now. Just quickly race in there just so you can see what's going on. Alright, it's actually blowing up pretty good. I can probably make it blow up a little bit later or earlier. Doesn't really matter. It's still opening that base up really nice and well. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Take this one up one more again. See how that goes. Now, I could actually have four different redstone signals going out for each dispenser. So I could have one here, the one next to it, with two different... Oh, what? Wow. I wasn't even hooked up. I sort of realized that. You guys probably realized that like 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> what a dumbass. Stumps, you're an absolute fool. All right, yeah, so we got it hooked up now. Now it should be working, okay? Now we should, now explosion should be working a lot better. So that was only with just two dispensers. So now with the four. Oh yeah, wow, there we go. Now we're making some noise. You see that? We'll do that again once more just so you guys can get it. I might just dumb down the timing on this one. Just a little bit. Okay. Hit that. Race straight in. We've opened this. Split this entire mountain. Alright, so it's probably a little bit too late. I probably should take it down so it blows a bit earlier. But yeah, guys, just doing a bit of an experiment with that. Messing around with that. And thought I would just quickly make a video. And if you guys want to see some tutorials, I will make them for you guys without any dramas at all. Uh, just quickly messing around, like I said, just adjusting the timing. Are we out of TNT? Shh. If we are out of TNT, then our cannon's going to explode. No, we're not. So what happened there? Oh, lag. Alright. Got our Minecraft and console and shoot. Yeah, it's still opening it up really nice and well. I just don't want it to hit four, then explode, you know what I mean? Obviously, you change your timing. I want it to kind of take up here, so we're going to make it blow up a little bit earlier. It's all trial and error, guys. When you're raiding bases, you will spend hours, especially if you're new to this. I'm telling you now, I guarantee it, you will spend hours. You will shoot, you realize that it's not exploding at the right time, you realize your, stand, your sand isn't stacking how you want it, it's shooting too high, it's shooting too low. There are so many complications with raiding, you have no idea. For those who are new, it is a trial and error. For me, I'm not so new to this, but I haven't done it in several years, so I'm just refreshing my memory and messing around with it at the same time. But I just thought I'd make a quick video, see if I can gather any of your interest in cannoning and TNT and all that other good stuff. Alright, it's working. I could also add a hammer to this, and what a hammer does, right, if you guys don't know, hammer is just an extra set of TNT, so your TNT goes in your barrel, it shoots out, there's an explosion that happens before your main explosion. So before all that scattering happens, there's one main explosion that'll happen, right? Which will then push your TNT down to the ground, or where these slabs are, right down the bedrock, or whatever, that whatever the case is. It's just an extra explosion, which... So say you shoot your TNT at the wall, bang, right, hits the wall, you have a second explosion which shoots it down, bang, at the ground. Right, that's what a hammer does. And if you want to see more of that, I will make one of those videos with a ca cannon with a hammer as well. Those are actually quite fun. I remember destroying someone's base, a really competitive player's base. Um, I mean, he's a massive Rust player, but he was playing Minecraft as well, in between the two. And I took advantage of his streaming on Rust. Um, jumped onto his Twitch stream, I was like, oh yeah, he's doing Rust, he'll be here for an hour or two. And just made a cannon while he was doing that. Didn't tell him. Like, we're, we weren't really mates, but we knew of each other. Didn't tell him, and uh, completely split open his base, and he's 39. I think it was 39 or 42 walls, it was something around that. Um, like all obsidian walls, it was just, yeah, it took a while, a couple of regions as well. Um, split into that, got inside, and that was that was good fun. That was really good fun. Uh, raiding is probably the most exciting part of multiplayer for me. Um, on factions though, on other, other multiplayer it's different, like I like PvP as well.
but I do like to raid. I like to split open people's bases. I love their reaction because you can spend days getting your base ready. With most online servers, guys, there's a grace period before, right after it resets. You get about certain, several days or so to, you know, build your base, and you can't get raided. The TNT is disabled. All of that's disabled. Um, Overclaiming is disabled. So there's nowhere to get raided, right? Nowhere to get griefed. After that period ends, then you know everyone goes out into the wild and destroys each other. And uh, we spend the first three days making the base, then the, the last three days we'll spend locating bases, like searching. And if there's several worlds and realms in that one server, then it can take time to find bases. Like, no, whatever, like, it can take a lot of time. Um, but yeah, guys, that's mostly where these cannonings, uh, cannoning videos, cannoning designs, all of that originated from was on old multiplayer factions and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, okay, so we've done caused a fair bit of damage, what I might just quickly do is just chuck some lighting in here and hope the TNT don't destroy it. And guys, while I have your attention, if you're still watching this video this far in, which is only like 5 or 6 minutes in probably, maybe more considering how long I, I blabble on, if you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of the support system if you are one of my subscribers. I mean, if you're not, I still thank you anyway for watching this video and being a part of the comment section, being a like in the videos, all that other good stuff, but to my supporters, my subscribers, thank you guys, oh look at that, thank you guys so much, seriously, because we just passed 400, like I said in previous videos, and I will keep saying in the future videos of our time frame, it's been what, a month and a half, and we're on 410, 420 or something, I'm hoping to hit a thousand before the end of December, guys, before January 2023, for those of you who do not know, uh, monetization is going to have some changes, something about 10 million or so many million views in shorts in 90 day period. And it's like, what a joke. Like that is just, yeah, that's a joke because I can't even get a million. I can't even get half a million uh, views in my shorts in 90 days, right? And I mean, I haven't been gone for 90 days at this point. That's like three months, three, yeah, three months. But, you know, in a, in, a, in a span of three months, unless like all your videos are getting hundreds of thousands of views or 50,000 views or whatever, how are you going to get 10 million Seriously. So guys, that's the honest truth. That's the only reason why I'm trying to push for the 1,000 and try to go for monetization before 2023. Other than that, you know, I'm just going to keep trying either way. If I don't make it, I don't make it. That is what it is. I'll still try after that. It's just, I don't know how I'm going to get 10 million views on shorts. I'll just have to upload 100 shorts a day, given that they all get, might get 1,000 views each short. <laughs> that's how we're going to have to do it or something like that. To be fair, I feel like uploading four shorts a day is too much, but you know, whatever. I won't actually do that, but you know. Anyway, we'll lift that up. We'll just shoot this off a couple more times, and then I will just end the video there with another thank you to all of you beautiful people who are supporting me uh, behind me in the Discord. Even if you're not in the Discord, you're still beautiful. Don't worry about that. There's only about four of you who have actually joined Discord. Um, so if you guys want to join that, I will put the link of that in this video as well. Uh, there is a post, though, on the community YouTube, on my community section there. All right fire away and we'll just see still too late oh we're too far away it doesn't render in the explosion I think okay we will try that once once more guys once more we're gonna dumb it down all the way so no, next to nothing we'll go one and then two on that side one, take that off. All right, so then two, and then a one tick on that one. All right, shoot this mother, and then we'll see how we go. Blow up, yeah, there we go. Okay, sweet. I want it to blow up as soon as it hits there. That's what you want. Um, the only issue is I've got so, too much scattering going on, so one explosion happens here, the rest just goes out to the sides. But I mean, look how open we are, right? That's pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I might just leave the video end it there. But just want to say once again, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, there is no Stumps MC without you guys. You know, if I had only one or two subs, one or two views still a month in, I'd, I'd be pretty bummed out. I probably wouldn't make as much videos and be as happy, be as refreshed. Um, but having 400 of you behind me is just such a blessing. You know, and I can only expect to grow more and more over time. Um, but it is going to be slow, and that is fine. I mean, there are literally millions of us out here doing the same shit. Uh, excuse my language, but we are. We are doing the same shit, and it, it's hard. It's hard for new, like the new gamers, the new Minecraft content creators, to reach out and get those views. You know, there's already 
have what? Let's just say 50,000 people out there who make Minecraft content who have millions of subs. So how are you going to divert and take those subscribers and get them to watch your videos? It's just quite hard. And not only that, how are you going to get them to discover you? It's, it is. It's a challenge. So, you know, but even though there is 5 million, 10 million of us out there doing the same shit, I promise you guys, I ain't ever going to stop. I'm going to make sure that you guys eventually know who I am. You guys will know who I am. You guys will know what my face looks like. All of that good stuff. I will continue to grow and make an impact. I will build my own community, whether it takes me five or ten years. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to do it. If I can sit there, go through life and regret for ten years, right? And I can actually work on my achievement, success, and life for ten years. And I'm going to do that. Whether it takes me ten or fifteen, so be it. You know, it's rewarding enough just to have 400 of you watch me or not even... Well, these aren't all watching me in every video, but to have 400 of you subscribe, be a part of, you know, the community, have some of you watch me, it's just amazing. It's fulfilling. It's it's breathtaking. It's just re refreshing. And I just want to say, guys, thanks again. I hope you are well. I hope you are all safe in this crazy damn world. Um, like I said, join the Discord. Um, comment down below what you guys think on cannons. If you guys want some more videos on the cannoning, let me know, please, guys, because your suggestions is what I'm really waiting on. Like, I wake up every day hoping to get a comment or two, hoping to look in Discord, hoping to get suggestions on what to build next, what to do next. Like, I want to hear, you know, hey, Stumps, why don't you do this in your survival world? Or, hey, Stumps, go on your survival, let's play, and uh, go to the nether and do this, or go to this in this world, or go, I don't know, go do something, or build this, or build that. You know what I mean? If you guys get my drift. Um, but just, yeah, just trying to encourage you guys to give me some suggestions so I can focus on making content that you guys want to see. I can pump out all different stuff, you know, videos of base designs, cannons, all the stuff as much as I like. But to be fair, it's 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 from my own perspective. I don't know, you know, I'm making what I want to make. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to, I want to make things you guys want to see. So guys, be more involved um, and be patient if you can because like I said, I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to improve. Um, in terms of my base design, the way I talk, my stutter, my editing, my—I mean, I got—I got to work on everything. I got to work on just everything, just about everything. But you know, I'm prepared for that. But you know, I want to—I'll give you guys 100% of me. But I'm hoping to get a, a little bit of percentage back, if that's—if you get what I mean. And what I mean by that is, you know, um, just interaction, you know, comments, all that other good stuff. Guys, I appreciate you. Hope you all. Well. Hope you are safe. Much love to all of you. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me. Go on. I will see you all in the next video.